For a Supreme Court justice, he gave some surprisingly bad answers. Do you like beer? I like beer. I think I'm revising my opinion on Death Note. The final half of it is actually like pretty fucking bad compared to the first half. Like really, really bad. JoJo's fans are probably worse than Dota's fans. Like worse than Rick and Morty's fan base even. I don't know how that's possible, but. Destiny, where you been, bud? Um, hanging out at my own house. Where have you been, bud? You need to look at Livy B's Instagram. Comfy dog stream, comfy dog. Fucking Christ. Sorry. Do you think you should use... So Bella is telling me that the way that you do it is you're supposed to type in a, like a hashtag on your Instagram, and then you just go and you just favorite like every single fucking picture, and that the people will you all go back and favorite you, 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 and then follow the you. Just a do people actually do that? Do you think that would work? Just buy followers? I don't want to buy. You no, know, you're right. Actually, I wouldn't want those types of followers. You're right. The problem is that girls can just take pictures of themselves, and they and everything works. Also, how do people have, I just realized now that I have clothes that I enjoy wearing, I've only got like four or five outfits. How do people have like hundreds of fucking outfits? This is why you guys spend like thousands of dollars on fucking clothes, isn't it? Like, look, does she ever repeat an outfit? How many fucking, how many pictures do we have here with a different outfit in like every picture? How much money do you spend on this shit? She literally does post a new picture. Also, I don't know if I could think of like something to, it would have to be stories. Did you see my most recent story? I'm trying- I'm taking the Instagram game more seriously, guys. Hold on. How do I see my stories? I can't click it? It's an Aslan one. Somebody get me a link. It's a good- It's a good-ass meme, okay? This is why you should be following me on Instagram if you're not already. Or make an account and follow me on Instagram. Oh. Thanks. dun <laughs> Look, it's Mr. Meowslin. Okay, I'm done. Your likes to talk on the podcast pisses me out. Well, there's, I, it's, I don't like there's like 50 people. I'm trying to think of like, if I do, um, if I do a podcast, do I just want to do like topics, like a low effort podcast? Do I just want to do like topics that are like the most upvoted thing on my subreddit over the past week or two or like Twitch drama or like what? Would you have a co-host or just guests? I think I would just do guests initially. Hey, can we chill? Did you watch Brett and Dr. Ford's hearing? Yeah, whoa, yikes. Um, Kavanaugh had some trouble. Wow. He gave, for a Supreme Court justice, he gave some surprisingly bad answers. They were like, oh fuck, I wish I could remember clearly. There were one or two moments where I was getting really uncomfortable. Um, man, fuck. What, one of the things was like calling for an FBI investigation. Um, like, do you want an FBI investigation? Well, I, I, I want, um, I want, uh, whatever the, whatever the committee wants is what I want. Whatever the Republican controlled committee wants is what I want. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, whatever they want. They're like, oh my God. Oh yeah. Like, have you ever gotten blackout drink before? Do you like beer? I like beer. Do you like beer? Or what was the lady asking a question? And he like kept asking like three times in a row. He's like, answer me. Do you like beer? Do you like beer? Do you drink beer? Oh my God. What do you like to drink, Senator? Yeah, holy shit, that shit was getting really hard to listen to. Oh my god. And then what the fuck was Grassley talking about? I don't know why he was asking for FBI investigation. The FBI doesn't make conclusions. We make conclusions. Okay? That's like saying, like, I don't want a police officer to investigate the crime. Police officers don't determine whether or not someone is innocent or guilty. So get all these police officers. Wait, what the fuck? What was he even talking about? What the fuck was that guy even talking about? Oh, anyway, I'm going to do a stream meetup, guys, when I go to L.A. Anybody want to play Devil's Triangle? It's like quarters. <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? Ugh. They changed the wiki page. Oh, wait, is there a wiki page for Devil's Triangle? A sexual threesome. There's like, um, it's funny because if you Google it, there's like a, 
an Urban Dictionary link from like fucking ten years ago. <laughs> a threesome with one woman and two men. May eleventh, two thousand and eight. Wait, read number two. A made-up game of quarters with three cups arranged in a triangle. The rules are unknown because the inventor of the game, Brett Kavanaugh, cannot explain them under oath. Oh yeah, when he was like, "It's like a, uh, it's like quarters." I Why like we don't, don't link me, Richard Lewis, this shit, okay? What do you think of this meme? To all philosophy specialists, I think I read some of this. Can I get two cheeseburgers? Ooh, but some dude, um. The median starting salary for a philosophy Bachelor of Arts is $39,800, and the median mid-career salary is $75,600. That's not too bad. Don't you think people um, that say his yearbook has multiple references to rape, date rape, gang rape, is the same level of autism as the Pizzagate emails? I mean, especially since he was 17 in high school. Well, the yearbook on its own... I would say whatever, but the fact that three different people have come forward with allegations, not one of which is a lady that holds like multiple security clearances and shit, uh, kind of makes me wonder. I don't know. What do her clearances have to do with the allegations? Well, because she's putting, she's like doing, it's a pretty significant risk to come forward and make these accusations for her. She has a lot to lose. It's not just like some random fucking memer. People seem to say that, um, Men risk a lot when it comes to rape allegations, which they do, which is true. You can lose a lot as a man, um, but you lose a lot as a woman as well. Like that can follow you for the rest of your life when you're making rape allegations as well. So, I mean, for her to do it and then to be in the position that she's in, I mean, I think is adds a little bit of credence. She's not just like a random memer that's like, oh, rah, rah, rah. for a dude who claims his innocence, he really doesn't want the investigation. Yeah, like. Oh, man, he answered that wrong. He answered that incorrectly. He should have just said, even if he's fucking guilty, he should have just said that he welcomed an investigation. Like, fucking, what was it? It Wasn't it Franken that did that? When when Franken was being accused of shit, he was like, I want an investigation. Like, I welcome an FBI investigation or whatever. Um, I'm sorry, I, don't, I really don't want to misquote here or be incorrect on this either. The only thing Al Franken ever did was, like, like, hand grope the lady's breast, like, air grope. Like, I don't think he actually touched him. And then, like, made, like, the gesture towards, like, the sleeping woman. Like, back when he was doing his comedy shit. That, Franken didn't actually, there were no, like, I, I could Last be wrong, but, like, of the month. Uh, can, can somebody Round confirm or deny this? Like, nice hundo. Piclomancer, why don't you look me in the eyes when we make love? He was accused of making out with chicks forcefully. Okay, did he really... W was that actually like an accusation? I, I wasn't sure. I didn't keep up on like all of that. But like when Franken was like starting to get accused of shit, he was like, yeah, let's do this. Like investigate everything. Kavanaugh was super fucking evasive of those questions. Oh, Al Franken list of sexual misconduct allegations. So a radio news anchor says that Franken groped and forcefully kissed her during a USO tour in 2006. Before the former comedian was a senator, she says Franken aggressively stuck his tongue in my mouth when the pair rehearsed a skit that featured a kiss. A photo also surfaced, and then this is with the boob thing. Um, Lindsay Menz said Franken grabbed her buttocks when the group pair um, when the pair posed for a photo. Two unidentified women told HuffPo that Franken grabbed their buttocks at a separate event from 2007 to 2008. Army veteran says Franken put her hand on her breast during a USO tour in 2003. A woman, described as a former elected official in New England, told the Jezebel website that Franken tried to give her a wet open mouth kiss. An unnamed former Democratic congressional aide told Political that the senator tried to force speakers after he taped a radio show in 2006. Were there any, like, official investigations into these, or? Huh. Okay, so yeah, I guess he, he's been accused of doing, like, some pretty creepy stuff, but. Wait, did Toast gift me subs? Cancel the gifts. I saw you. You made it. <laughs> you little. <laughs> You think you think I don't see? You think I don't see what you're up to? Destiny. Calamity. Well, what's Destiny's real name? Steven or Esteban. No. Steven. Five foot seven, not even. You don't think I got my eye on you? Watch yourself, bud. <clears throat> Graham took the words out of her mouth when he said the nature of the leak and the allegations made this pervertedly unfair to both Kavanaugh and Ford. I also don't agree one bit that Kavanaugh's school yearbook or being angry that he's being called out as serial rapist are enough to disqualify someone with his record. Maybe you already don't like him, but they were... Oh! Well, 
in terms of like what do you need to disqualify him i think that anything possible should be done even if the allegations were fake because fuck the republicans because that's where we're at in terms of um in terms of like how the political game is being played like if the if the if the allegations were fucking fake then fucking bravo on the democrats i don't think they were but man if they're ready to play that fucking dirty whoa fucking get him boys um, I don't think that these set of allegations, they don't seem to be fake just because the people are willing to go under oath to fucking do them. And one of the ladies, at least, that's doing it, is, it seems to be fairly credible and has a lot to lose doing it. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think the Democrats have it in them to fake allegations like these. Republicans would, but I don't think Democrats, I don't think Democrats have the, have the political balls to do it. Um, in terms of whether or not they should disqualify Kavanaugh, um, it's not just so much that he got, like, emotional, but, like, man, th that was a really really rough his answers were really bad dude holy shit um man he had a lot of trouble he had a lot of trouble there's literally zero proof of her claims to this point but i leave believer bravo destiny i mean that's kind of how rape shit works huh holy sh ignore me daddy so so you're saying there's never been a case where you drank so much that you didn't remember what happened the night before or part of what happened? That's, you're asking about, yeah, blackout. I don't know, have you? Could you answer the question, Judge? I just so God, these answers are so bad! I watched like, I think I watched like an hour and a half of this. So, so you're saying there's never been a case where you drank so much that you didn't remember what happened the night before or part of what happened. That's, you're asking about, yeah, blackout. I don't know, have you? Could you answer the question, Judge? I just, so. Hi. You, that's not happened. Is that your answer? Yeah, and I'm curious if you have. I, her father, apparently she just said right before this, she was talking about how her father was an alcoholic. Yeah. Every time Ford and Kavanaugh did or did not answer a question. <laughs> Yikes. Hasn't Kavanaugh already committed perjury? He's lied about drinking constantly and his Yale maids say he was a heavy drinker. Yeah, the problem is that it's all so old. Like, proving or disproving any of this is going to be really hard. Wow, is one week of an months. investigation long enough to even figure anything out? Like, I never had sexual intercourse or anything close to it. Oh, dumb memes. Oh, I didn't watch this, but apparently these women had a huge impact on this guy. Wowie, or people he's are streaming saying again. It. Bonus meme. Wowie. Why did you vote yes? I understand that you said this on Monday. Monday I stood. That the, that the in front, front of your office. On Monday, I stood in front of your office with Ann Barton. I told the story of my sexual assault. I told it because I recognized in Dr. Ford's story that. Nice to see you stream you. again. You. What you are doing. Don't ignore me, Dad. Jeff Flake is like McCain? Well, no, he was one of the people that voted. Um, wasn't he one of the votes that voted in favor of opening the investigation? Senator Flake, do you think that Fred, Fred Kavanaugh is telling the truth? Thank you. Do you think that he's able to hold the pain of this country and repair it? That is the work of justice. The way that justice works is you recognize... There's no vote for it? Or wait, how did they... How did they um, he voted yes on proceeding. There was no vote. He voted yes on proceeding. Oh, wait. So he didn't change his... He only voted to pass it through the committee on the pretense that there wasn't a... He did... He did what? Ooh, people speaking incomplete sentences are triggering the fuck out of me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Back to the Hollow Knight. He said he would vote no if no investigation. Okay, thank you. He voted yes to proceed it through the committee. It has to get voted through Congress and Senate, a.k.a. Senate now, and McConnell decided to wait a week. Wait, to vote what through the committee? The nomination or the investigation? 
Didn't Trump order the investigation? Yeah, I thought I feel like I read a headline saying that. Oh, the nomination. Okay. Oh, so he did McCain out. No vote was made on investigation. Yeah, okay, gotcha. But the investigation is open, right? I wonder why Trump did that. Or did Trump do that? I feel like I read a headline that's saying that. Lindsey Graham is one cringy. Oh, that dude is a fucking he's a piece of work. I love watching Republican senators fucking cry about how unfair it is. Ah, oh, dude. I fucking hate Republicans at this point. Do you see the thing Graham said? Oh, and then some. This is not a job interview. Yeah. This is hell. This, this, this is going to destroy the ability of good people to come forward because of this crap. Your high school yearbook. You have interacted with professional women all your life, not one accusation. You're supposed to be Bill Cosby when you're a junior and senior in high school. And all of a sudden, you got over it. It's been my understanding that if you drug women and rape them for two years in high school, you probably don't stop. Oh, and then some. Well, this wait, do you understand what he's saying here? He's saying that, like, you're supposed to be Bill Cosby. You're supposed to be a big rapist in high school, and then all of a sudden you stop doing it. That doesn't make sense. That's what he's saying. Um, oh, sorry. I just have to bring this up all the time. The confirmation of Merrick Garland would have given Democratic appointees a majority in the Supreme Court for the first time since 1970, since the 1970 hey, confirmation of Harry Blackman. After the death of Scalia, Republican Senate leaders announced that they plan to hold no vote on any potential nomination during the president's last year in office. Senate Democrats responded that there was sufficient time to vote on a nominee before the election. Garland's nomination expired on January 3, 2017, with the end of the 114th Congress. The nomination remained before the Senate for 293 days, the longest nomination process in the history of Supreme Court nominations. With the failure of Garland's nomination, President Donald Trump Republican successfully nominated Neil Gorsuch in 2017. Fuck the Republicans, dude. I hope the Democrats to use any dirty trick possible to fuck them out of the Supreme Court nomination. Nothing makes me happier than watching Republicans cry and whine about how unfair the Supreme Court process is. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I know I'm a uh, single white male from South Carolina and I've told... I oh, that's all I need to hear. All right. Rainbows. It's so funny, like, watching Kavanaugh... Watching Kavanaugh compared to like any of the people that have gone before any of the intelligence people or um, like watching Comey being questioned or the guy that was ahead of the um, was it CIA? I don't remember I'm his name. I'm here to shout out um, my homies or Rosenstein or the um, or Strock, the FBI guy. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Like watching Garland struggle so much was very interesting. I would have expected him to be far more eloquent given his legal background and everything. But man, that dude had problems. Holy shit. Feels like Lindsey Graham is playing a very delicate game of opposing Trump on anything related to foreign policy, but supporting all the pro-Republican domestic policy. Oh, sure. Kavanaugh is the classical drunk entitled prep boy. Jeff yeah, maybe. Jeff Flake is... <laughs> 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 go check. No, but anyways. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Hey, Sam, come on, guys. Oh, my hey, God. Hey, let's stop paying attention. Was that girl's ass real? The fake asses is, like, seems really gross to me. Probably shouldn't be talking about this. What, who is it? Nicki Minaj has like the big fake booty. Ugh. What do you think of the finale to Steins Gate? Um, I didn't watch the second meme. I have not started Lanes yet. Please don't give me your 50 million recommendations for the anime that you want me to watch. Lane Serial Experiments is my next one. Okay, chill. Finish Bakano. Bach oh man, maybe. I was not feeling that anime at all after the first. Like two episodes. No, okay. Oh, nice save. <sighs> okay, I'm glad I have this bitch. Oh, okay. I messaged Mr. Moon for CSGO. Fuck. I'll play this until he fucking messages me back, I guess. Currently out shopping, then watching football? Fuck me. Mr. Moon turned into a full fucking normie. God damn it, guys. I can't believe I lost my fucking gaming buddy. Ah. Oh, Fuck these kids. This is why I only make friends with people that are like 30 plus, so their life is figured out, okay? Make friends with kids who are 20. Who knows? One day they might be a gamer. The next day, they might be a fucking normie, okay? Fuck me. Play with Toast? Me and Toast don't play any of the same games. 
Oh, I forgot, um... I forgot how bad... I think I'm revising my opinion on Death Note. The final half of it is actually, like, pretty fucking bad compared to the first half. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> That's gonna be an Omega yikes for me. The, um... Nier makes so many ridiculous plays compared to L. I thought it was just in the beginning when Nier was playing catch up, which is fine because I guess you don't want to show it on camera. But like, the, everything is like super off. When Nier tries to figure out who is working as like the new Kida, and he just like looks at all the videos, and all of a sudden he's like, ah, oh, Mikami, it must be this guy. Uh. Wait, is Nier a girl? I thought Nier was a guy. I have no idea, actually. I guess it's a kid, so it's my, pretty much asexual. Oh, yeah, that's right. His name was Nate Rivers. What was L's first name? Light? Oh, L. Um, I don't remember, actually. Don't you think Light is pretty dumb in the second part, too? Maybe. Everything in the second part is, like, super, super, super rushed. How did you feel about Mellow? I didn't really like him, either. The sequel to Steins Gate is done. I watched, like, I think half of the second... Steins Gate, and I did not like it that much. Uh, did you plan to watch season three of Code Geass? Season three? They're making a new season? I thought they were just making another anime. 80 episode anime for Monster? Fuck that shit. Isn't Serial... Experiment Lane? Oh shit, Serial Lane. Isn't this only like seven or eight episodes? This is a shorter one, isn't it? Oh, 13. Okay, that's still okay. That's still pretty short. I would watch JoJo, but JoJo's fans are probably worse than Dota's fans. That alone? That may that might be really arrogant or ignorant, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll revise it at some point, but JoJo's fan base honestly makes me never want to watch. Like, I think of all the anime people I've seen on the internet, JoJo's fan base is easily the worst fan base I've come across. Like, worse than Rick and Morty's fan base, even. I don't know how that's possible, but... The show is weird, but insanely good. Yeah, I can't tell if it's, like... It's something that I, I'll probably watch at some point, because I don't know, because, like, the fan base seems like the type of people that like, like, LOL, XD, quirky, like, retarded shit, but it might genuinely be good. Kind of like, um... Like, I think Rick and Morty is genuinely... The first season of Rick and Morty is probably, like, in top three of, like, best cartoons I've ever watched. Maybe even top one, the first season of Rick and Morty. But, like, jo the JoJo fanbase seems to, like, epitomize, like, the XD, so random, like, LOL, whatever shit. I don't know. Why didn't I like Avatar? I think I aged out of that show. I don't think I can watch a show like that anymore. What have you seen from JoJo that makes him XD random? Oh, nothing from JoJo stuff, just the fans. I just see, like, a lot of, like, LOL, like, you like, JoJo is so, like, you wouldn't understand, it's so crazy. Like, what is JoJo about? Like, oh, I can't even summarize it. Like, I don't know, just like a lot of, like, really dumb memes like that. Make me think it's like an anime for retards. Or the fan base is so. But I don't know, like I said, it might genuinely be good. I just got, like, a bad impression from people that watch it. Mr. Moten said he'll be ready around midnight tonight. How much are you going to bet he's not going to be? He'd be like, sorry, I got... Oh, I should have just jumped! This is easy! I'm not gonna get hit on anything else. Is that it? Fuck you, Davis, you fucking cuck ass piece of shit! Fucking ban him! Where the fuck is ITB at? Ban that fucking cuck from my goddamn chat! This is an easy jump dash. Wait, and look, you lied to me! Wait, I didn't go on a bench, but the enemies respawned! You said they don't, unless you sit on a bench! There are critter enemies that respawn. Some of the small ones do. Small enemies respawn, not big ones? Okay, but like every enemy on this path is a small enemy. Oh wait, let's see if the spiky dude's on the ground. Okay, never mind. That's okay, actually. What was the rationale that um, Light gave for not having video recording but having audio recording only? What the fuck was the rationale for that? He makes so many dumb mistakes, too. Like, in the beginning of the show, Light places a piece of paper on his door in order to see if people have come in, but that's actually a fake check because he places, places a piece of lead in his door hinge and he upturns the handle a little bit. Two other ways of checking for it, right? This is something that he's so careful to do. But then when he goes into a hotel room to meet a lady, he just uses the thing, the notepad's there. He doesn't bring his own paper to rent. like, what the fuck? Oh, God. The last season of Death Note is so fucking bad.
that street, two streets, I see you and me hanging on the end of swings.